All right, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have my uh, 3400 Equinox plenum here that uh, I have just about ready to go. Um, painted, did all the just a mild porting on it. Kind of hard to see. Now what I need to do today, I need to uh, basically I need to make a throttle body adapter. I got uh, my 65 mil throttle body here. This is a LX5 from a 35 Aurora and Intrigue. I think these were all in the in the Intrigues. Um, there might have been some other. Uh, Cars as well, like the bigger full size ones. But uh, basically, I need to make this throttle body fit on here. So, to do that, I need to uh, make an adapter plate. Basically, this is what you'd find on these. This is an electronic throttle body. This one's from uh, a 3500 V6. It's uh, the same bolt pattern there. Slides on. So uh, first thing I need to do, I need to uh, get rid of these studs. So now I have those off there. You can see how my uh, plate lines up here. This is uh, just a hunk of aluminum I got made up. Uh, basically just had them cut it down to size and open the center up to two and a half. Now I need to uh, basically fit that on there like that we'll have to grind that corner down a little bit just to clear that uh, runner but uh, now I take my aluminum plate I just have a an old 3.5 throttle body I took the throttle plate out of and I this edge used this edge here used to hang over a little further, so I cut that down so it's flat and I can actually just use that as my template. So now, just got to line that up to where I want it. So now I have that uh, centered there. I can uh, mark my mark my holes here four holes to bolt it on. To do that, just have these uh, transfer punches here. You just get the, the right size that fits in there nice and tight. And just get a little whack and that'll give you a centering punch. So then you just drill it out and uh, get your holes drilled. Alright, you can see uh got my marks on there. I just take it out to the garage to the drill press and uh, drill the holes out. First I'm just going to drill some pilot holes with the eighth inch drill bit just to make sure everything's all centered. Then I'll move up to the next size. Okay, so I got the uh, first holes drilled. Now I move on to the next size. So what I need to do is make sure that these uh, M6 bolts will fit through this plate, because that's what's going to uh, hold the plate to the the plenum. So the size I'm going to use here is a 1764. I'll allow this uh, the M6 bolt to fit through there. Okay, 
Okay, so I got my holes drilled now. Uh, the only problem is if I use these cap screws, they don't uh, sit nice. I won't be able to bolt another bolt the other throttle body right on top of there. So to get around that, I have to use a counter bore. So this is the counter bore here. It uh, basically just allows this to, to go in the hole that you've already drilled. And then it cuts out a little bit more and allows uh, the head of the bolt to, to sit in there nice and flush. These counter bores, I bought a set of these. Uh, it took me a little while to find reasonable price ones. Got these on Amazon. Um, they've been great so far. I've probably done like three or four of these plates already with counter bores and I haven't had an issue so we'll see how they hold up. Still got a little bit more to go. Don't want to go too far or else you end up going right through. And then you gotta start over. So you can see that I got the, the adapter uh, bolted on here. Just got the one cap screw. I need to get some more. I just use the studs and I'll show you that it lines up nice. Uh, I will have to do some porting on the inside here. Once I have more cap screws to finish bolting this on, I'll port this out more. Match it to the plenum. Now I need to drill the final holes for the LX5 throttle body to bolt onto. So I have the LX5 throttle body gasket here. Uh, looks like it should fit just about that area there. I'm not too worried about it being dead center because the top of the adapter here is pretty close to the top of the plenum. Uh, there is a big ridge here that will need to be ported out to match. So that's why I'm going to try to keep this down a little bit more. And then I'll just uh, mark my holes and uh, drill the plate and I should be uh, good to go. So I've just uh, outlined the gasket. I need to drill the holes here. I'll have to mark those with the punch, drill them out, tap them, and then I'll be able to bolt this throttle body onto this plate just like so. Alright, so I'm just uh, just using the throttle body, lined it up with the marks I made from the gasket. That way I can use my transfer punches and keep them a little more centered to get the more of an accurate uh, mark. So I got my eighth inch drill bit in here again. Just gonna do some uh, pilot holes, then I'll move up to the, to the next size. Okay, so now get out the tab and die set. To find out what size drill bit you need to for an M6 tap. So you see here, uh, it's my tap set came with a drill tap chart. So you look for your, your six millimeter, and your top drill size. So it's 15 64th. So find your drill bit and you drill it out. So now I'm ready to uh, cut some threads in there. Now I got my uh, holes drilled, just gotta tap them.
got some uh, threads in there now. My M6 bolt. Threads in there nice. So now I just gotta do the other two. And I'll be able to bolt uh, my throttle body to the adapter plate. If you have one of these LX9 3500 plenums from uh, G6, Malibu, Uplander, Montana van, and you're swapping it into your, let's say, a Grand Am, Laro, uh, any of the older 3400s, you will have to adapt the throttle body, which can also be done the same way. One of these. It's basically the same idea, except for the pattern on uh, 3500 plenum here is slightly offset compared to the Equinox uh, plenum as you can see here my uh, the top of the plenum's on an angle basically you just have to drill the hole so it lines up a little better and you can have your uh, and basically you're just having your adapter nice and straight there and then you drill your holes for your thrall body accordingly. You can also make uh, the adapters work with the uh, 3100s, 3400s. Uh, just have to drill your holes in a different spot. Basically just take your gasket, use that for your template, drill your holes, and counterbore them as well with the, the counterbores. Uh, they are a little bit larger. These are M8s. Uh, the smaller ones are M6s. So. It's just another option for you guys looking for a bigger throttle body to upgrade to without spending a whole bunch of money. It's a great upgrade for these engines on a budget. The only problem is when you do this on the, the 3100s, 3400 large port blenums here, you will have to have them ported as there is quite a bit of a restriction there. One other thing to note, if you do uh, do one of these on a 3100, 3400, uh, you will have to trim your gasket once it's bolted on there, just to, to match the opening of the, the plenum and the, the adapter. One other thing I almost uh, forgot to mention here, so when you do the swap, you will need to come up with a different throttle cable bracket. Um, this one's not going to work. Uh, what I've done in the past, I basically cut these off here. I've taken the section of a 3400 uh, cable bracket and basically cut that piece out and welded it on here and basically reinforced it so that it uh, works. Um, I believe others have also uh, basically modified the 3400 uh, brackets and just eliminated this whole thing and basically notched it out for your your tube there, your vacuum tube and basically customized it to fit. Uh, usually it does take some welding so hopefully you have a welder nearby or worst case if you can basically kind of cut and mock it up just take it down to, to somebody uh, down to your local welder or auto shop that's got a welder and uh, see if they can maybe just tack it together for you or weld it up and uh, that'll get you get you going. Another nice thing about uh, the throttle by here is it also uses your uh, GM sensors from your 3400 so your TPS and your idle air control changeover and another thing I've had to do with these when uh, installing them on 3400s is basically just had to drill out this hole a little bit larger to fit the throttle cable in there. All right, so that's about uh, all there is to it. Um, I will need a gasket for the plenum to the adapter. I usually just get a roll of gasket paper, trace out my marks, put the holes in it, and then trim it to fit before putting the plenum on. And that way uh, it's basically matches everything properly. Uh, another way you could do it is silicone. I prefer the gasket myself. It's a little less messy when you go to remove it after. But uh, if you're not planning on ever removing it, uh, I guess silicone's probably fine. Gasket. 
lines up. And you just bolt your throttle body on there. Once I actually go to bolt this on, I'll update uh, the description of the video here to include the sizes of the bolts I used. I'll give you a quick measurement on the plate that I've used. Basically a half inch aluminum plate is what I've used. That way it gives you lots of uh, extra material for doing the counter bore. I have done them, done the holes myself before with the drill press using a hole saw but it's the hole saw tends to chatter quite a bit and it's really slow process trying to get through a half inch of aluminum with it so uh, it can be done if you're desperate or have a machine shop basically just open one of these up even just a fab shop guys that do uh, like steel work metal work uh, they might be able to just drill that out for you now uh, there is some other hole cutters that you can buy on eBay and stuff I haven't tried them so that's basically up to you if you want to try one of those so hope you enjoyed this one uh, Hopefully this plenum works out pretty good on the truck. Now that the exhaust is improved, uh, hopefully this plenum here helps make uh, a little more power than the 3400 plenum. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see how this thing turns out. And uh, hopefully I'll have some more uh, budget uh, or cost effective mods for you guys. Thanks.